Hello, I'm George Samios. I'm the very proud head teacher of Twerton Infant School. It's a privilege to lead what is an amazing school that does a brilliant job. I might be biased, but it's true, a brilliant job working with children and families in Twerton. We are not content though to keep on being brilliant. We want to go beyond brilliant. We want to be whatever the right adjective is. And we've got a few projects planned to help us get to that point. So come with me and let me talk you through. This is the hall in the school. It's a very large space and it gets very busy over lunchtime. Now we have just taken delivery of some acoustic tiles, these three boxes, one, two and three, which need to be positioned and stuck onto the ceiling. There are 27 tiles in order, three lots of nine, and we are going to space them out across this top part of the hall, the ceiling here. A uh, little bit out of reach, so what I am appealing for is anybody who may have a tower scaffold and would be willing to help, maybe one Saturday morning, it wouldn't take very long, or maybe one day after school to help get these 27 tiles stuck onto this ceiling. Project number one. On to project number two. I'm now in the library and computer suite, which is a brilliant room full of working PCs and full of very interesting and engaging books about lots of different subjects. And in the corner of our library is Mrs. Langan, our inclusion leader, and saying, oh, hello, Mrs. Langan. And she is working in an office which didn't used to be there. This office was built into the corner of the room because, like many schools, we are short of space and short of quiet space for people to get on with work. Now, this brings me on to this corner of our library here, which at the moment is being used as a little bit of a dumping ground. However, from time to time, teachers try and work on that bench at the back to get on with some of their planning, their preparation and assessment. They have time every week to work, to get on top of things, and they do it here. However, what would help them to work even more conducively, if that is the right word, is an enclosed space. We would love to be able to close off that corner of Oh, can't quite do my arm. That corner, go back, that corner there, all the way along here, and then across to the window, we would love to be able to create an office, meeting room, a bit like Mrs. Langan's in this corner here, which would require some stud work, would require a door frame, might require moving one or two of these lights slightly to allow the stud work to run along that side and these are some of our lovely children coming in from playtime. It would also require us to reposition this air conditioning unit on the back wall which we can pay to get that done but it would be brilliant if there are any people that could offer us the expertise to build the stud work wall, uh, put some plasterboard on, maybe a little bit of skimming, put in a door and thereby creating a wonderful meeting room and workspace in the corner of our library. That's project number two. Okay. On to project number three. Now we are in Oak class, which is one of our key stage one classrooms. And we are working systematically through the school to redecorate our classrooms. Whilst this is lovely and bright, we are now moving to a more neutral color scheme and we're trying to declutter the classrooms because we think that this will help children to be able to concentrate even more and to focus on their learning. So we're trying to decorate. Now, very, very pleased that students from Bath University have already agreed and offered to come and paint in this classroom for one day. However, I suspect it's going to take a little bit more than one day. So if you have got a little bit of time in the half-term holiday which is coming up, Please let me know and I can provide all the materials, all the paints, all of the brushes and 
gloves and overalls and sandwiches and cups of tea in order to get this done, hopefully in the early part of the holidays coming up. So that's project number three. The fourth project that we have got planned is to repair the wall and the steps by this entrance that we've got to the school off Shaw's Way. This was damaged in a frost a couple of winters ago and it would be an ideal job actually for an apprentice or maybe one of the local colleges to send a few of their apprentices or people working on masonry courses at college to come and put their hand to the job. Again, we will provide all the materials and plenty of cups of tea and glasses of water to fuel any keen volunteers to help with this job.